know why I put up with this shit. Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cartographer's Guild. My name is Josh. I'm Dred. I'm Leah. I'm Brad. We're playing more Andromeda. Yeah, we were just complimenting Josh on his dance moves. Am I what? Dance, dance moves. moves. Mm. What do we need from him? The spy? Should give us a fix on the Archon ship. Right. No pressure. It's not like there's much writing on this. Just our best chance to find Meridian. Russia. I like that. Luckily, no matter where you go in the universe, physics still applies. You know, it tell dark energy sometimes somehow becomes solid. <laughs> there. Give it a shot. Did you connect the Turn it off. Careful. That is a direct line to people who want to murder everyone on this ship. Kill. Could I imagine that? Sam. I have the coordinates. The signal points to the Tafino system. You sure we want to do this? Uh, we have to. I know we're still getting our feet wet, but I don't see another choice. <laughs> I knew running off to Andromeda would be dangerous. Yes. This is dangerous. Only if we die. Huh? Well, good. Anything to talk about? Did I hear right? You're going after the Archon ship. Looks like it. Last time we crossed his path, he nearly broke my adventure. Tell me you have a better plan of escape this guy. Of course. I've got it all under control. How naive do I look? Just stay out of the skirt, huh? Oh yeah, let's talk about you. How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently prepping multiple species for preparation is a lot of work. Yeah. Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Regale me with some poker wisdom. Bluffing and reading players aside. Poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than you bet, make the bet. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. <laughs> yep. Real good tip there. <coughs> Whoop. Apparently we have to read an email from PB? We gotta do a number of things. Alright, now I'm gonna to talk to Lex. Hello. You wanted to see us? Everything alright? Oh, man, we just stepped yes. into everybody's personal space. Yeah. Having a debate. Is that progress? Better than her avoiding you, right? I guess. Ryder, do you think I'm uptight? I. No, never mind. Don't answer that. Let's just. Talk about something else. Bye. I'll let you get back to it. Why do they hate each other? Um, PB is uh, commitment phobic. Uh huh. And so, Lexi is the doctor. She wants to put together records. She wants to ask questions. She has. She's supposed to do psych profiles. And PB is like super against that. Ah, that makes sense. Hi, honey, buddy. Hey, Pathfinder. Still passing that mess with Varad and Callum. I made sure the Nexus data will be changed. Kesh is none too happy, but she can blame me. The important thing is we're all alive, I'm all in, and I'm doing things different now. Understood. Accepted, Liam. Let's not do this again anytime soon. Oh, total agreement there. In fact, this made me think how I'm doing a lot. I want to arrange a thing for us and Agara, once their civil stuff is calm. Maybe talk to Jarl about the Roka. You lend your weight there, I can focus on something normal for everyone. Uh, try talking to him one more time. Sure. We'll just see if he has something else. I got a copy of the Nexus movie last Ah, yes. Yeah. Thanks. I'll look through it. It's probably all agricultural learning bits, but there might be something good. 
I'll keep you posted. Anything else? Mm. Have to run through one more time and. I like it. Uh, well, it's white. Just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. What do you want to know? I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it, and Dad liked it as well. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff, armor and jump jets. Mom wasn't a fan of the second car. You know how it is. Probably does sound familiar in Ryder's family. Yeah. I worried my parents from time to time. That's a kid's job. I probably crossed the line a few times though. Like jump in the galaxy. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. Tell me about your friends in crisis response. Oh, I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing a shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Base, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. The best people when buildings are falling down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promise. We'll talk later. I know it. Okay, I was probably there. Yes. Because that was a normal conversation. Car, huh? Yes, I was here for the conversation about the car. <gasps> What's this? Crumbs. Crumbs. Going where? Sam, solve all my problems. Let's see here. Is that something to find here? Do I have to... Let me see. Let me see. That's probably an additional task. Might be. Although those aren't trackable, and I think this one is. But you're probably right. Wait, they want me to craft a weapon. Sandstorm, Sidewinder, or Vanquisher. Yeah, I know, whatever. Huh. Not uh, seen it. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I'll find it. Unless there. it's a priority app. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not, but you never know. It's here. No, nope, that's Aladdin. That's the remob system. Okay. Well then, moving along. <laughs> oh man, we have to go back for all those memories. We have so many memories. Yeah, we've picked up a lot of memories, which is important because that's like plot. Tis, tis be. Oh, here. oh there we go. Follow the crumb trail. That's it. Nope, no marker. no marker. Fuck, I have to find it. Yep. Alright, well, we have to. So are there any crumbs in here? No? Alright. Path finder. I've retrieved actionable intel from the security bit of Spectre. What did you find? Updating your system with an app point. But ding! Everything has an app point. Okay. More mail. We have to go back and talk to PB again. Alright, somebody else can read this. Okay. Uh, this is from Jal. I told Liam and PB and Lexi a children's story that the mothers used to tell us when we were small. It's from our oral history of the time before the scourge. The crew said I should write it down so that it can be added to the cultural center on the Nexus. The wayward child. Long ago, there was a child who was very stubborn and wouldn't listen to any wisdom, not from her father nor her many mothers. One day, seeking adventure, she snuck aboard a spaceship with an unknown destination. That child was brave to seek adventure. However, she ended up getting spaced with a load of garbage. <laughs> Deservedly, she froze in the cold vacuum of space and died. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the crew enjoyed it. It's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters into obedience. Is this a novelty to your people? If so, how do you humans keep children from hurting themselves? <laughs> I'm guessing they laughed hysterically. <laughs> uh, so we want to talk about movie nights. Liam's movie night. Mm -hmm. okay. huh. So we need to talk to her too. Alright, we gotta follow this, this crumb trail. It's very so important. To pick it up again. Let me out of my room. Come on. <laughs> the fork. Really? Sam, why am I being locked in my room? Okay. 
Just have to show that door that you made business. Okay, so there's those crumbs. It's like the scanner is what throws it off. Crew info board. By the way, anybody, don't mind me. If you want to read some funny stuff, the crew info board is actually a pretty good place for it. Oh, here we go. More crumbs going where? Game. Cereal crumbs. Lots of them. Oh, Cork. I can talk to her. Something's nesting here. Something that likes cereal. I wonder. We've probably got materials to build a humane trap and catch it. Aha! Build the trap there. Um, While we're here. Yep. We got it, Rob. He patched up the Asari flight recorder. Some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Uh, are you ready for this? Dun 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 dun. Remember the survey ship. This might not be pretty. Are you? Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before they can't do it. Well, okay. Uh, that's it. That's the Was there more to talk to her about since we're here? Uh, maybe. Although we also hey, forgot to Ryder talk to her. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours! So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. Well, that's not good. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, because it's not. They were kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they were taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally in a gar mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't think the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. Should we just trust her? Okay. Mm -hmm. Either way. Which one? Seven. Okay. I trust your sister. And there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a pathfinder. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Can I come along? I want to help. You know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Kroger beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's real hypocritical economy for my life, too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you done? Well, Sid's her baby sister or whatever. Kadara is a lifesaver. I promised some people some things I wasn't sure I could get. Turns out I can get them all on Kadara. Funny how things work out. Eh, uh, seven. I'm just relieved that they didn't die out there without Nexus support. Throwing people off the boat was hard, but Nexus leadership was desperate. It wasn't a great choice. Lose some people, or lose everything. Okay, you probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Wee! Alright, did you have anything else to talk about? Bleh! Yeah, lots of times this looks like dance moves. Kadara <laughs> Port's a peach, huh? And Sloan Kelly is the pit. Anything you need him? Yeah, anything How's more the here? For the Ark going? Wait, we know this, uh... Points are set. I'm ready okay. For some reason, it just doesn't go right. Yeah, I'll be here. we wouldn't constantly be in people's personal space if they didn't all step backwards when they turned around. <laughs> they just turn in place, people. Who else do we have to talk to? Uh, we have to go back and talk to um, PB again and um, Subi. Okay. And also make a humane trap. Yeah, which we're going to do right now. Boop. Development. Special development humane trap craft. Oof. Out of aluminum, apparently. Well, yeah. Because it's light. Okay, that's done. Now we gotta go put it down. 
We have to put it down. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's right down there, easy. Right? It's right here. One trap ready for a visitor. We'll leave it and see what we get. See, that wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now we got to pick where we're going for our next major plot point. Or are we going back to the Nexus and seeing all those damn memories? We gotta see memories. It's plot. Pock, pock, pock. You're gonna be the gateway to so many great things, my friend. Hey there. You named her Pock? Yep. Proof of concept. To distinguish her from Zap, your souped up, nasty combat version. I'm cool with it. It's kind of cool, Zap. I like it. Yeah, it's edgy. <laughs> the storage box from the vault on EOS was the key to everything, including integrating that piece of red tech we got. But our new observer friends are just the beginning. I'm working on something even bigger. Of course you are. Sure, why stop and smell the roses? Getting remnant technology to work is so passe. So I'm not going rest on my laurels. So get this. We can only scan for remnant signatures we've already encountered. My scanner's doing that around the clock. But if I integrate the right rem tech, we could scour the cluster for any remnant signature, even ones we don't have. My scanner would literally become a remnant mystery detector. That is exciting. Your enthusiasm is infectious. She says yeah, completely dead <laughs> for a cure. I came to Andromeda to touch the unknown, to find the never before found. Once I perfect the scanner, it'll do exactly that. All I need is three specific pieces of rem tech. We can do that. You rock. Pock and Zap think so too. So far, I've located the first piece. It's back on EOS. I'll upload the coordinates. Uh, side quest going to be done. Okay. Yep. Suvi! The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It, it's been amazing. That'll be a help. And Garin expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. Can I should you get back to things. Sounds good. We're uh, just way behind. Her again. Yeah. Liam says he's planning a move. There we go. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every bit's better with snacks, right? I found an engaring recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local helios plant. But it's rare, and you want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. So we're going to make a pop. Alien popcorn, yes. Okay. Holy crap. Da, 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 da. Back to Nexus to see memories and other such things. <clears throat> but not talk to Tan. So one thing that I really like about Destiny that I wish you could do in games like this uh -huh. is whenever you're doing one of these load screen travel things or whatever... Yep. Be able to bring up your inventory or your journal or whatever and just kind of look over it while you're waiting for the other shit to load. Yeah. This is all true. It's, That's pretty cool. It's a really nice feature. Yep. It's and it's so intuitive. It's a great moment to manage inventory. No, oh, we got a lot of stuff to do here. Speaking of. Okay, journal. <sighs> okay, next. Sid. Hacker Sanctuary. Done. Yeah, but where's the. Where is it? This? No. What are you after? Ah, there we go. Family Secrets. 
Well, we're supposed to talk to Sid, right? We, we've got a lot of people to talk to. Oh, they're not. Ah, they're there. <laughs> okay, so salvage. It's a shame you can't see the tellers coming. Desperately running in from the back for the only people in the entire galaxy to own a vehicle. Yeah. That would be pretty fun. And, and the money to spend it. Yeah. Or, and the money to upgrade it. I don't think there's anything else here. Nope. 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 Oh, I did buy a ship model from oh, okay. one of the uh, bitchy people in uh, Kadara. Sounds good. Okay, we got two more paint jobs. Oh, wait, more. Oh. I don't know if you remember the mission from our playthrough, but it's the shop owner who like sells us the locations to a weapon cache, and you find out she also sold it to like five or six other people. <laughs> and so you have to kill them all to get the cash. Of course. Drink of the hour is a lucky leprechaun. Wanna give it a shot? No, I talked to the wrong person. I forget where the ingredients are from. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Excellent. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Did that happen in like wasn't there what the fuck? <laughs> Did you just pour it on your boobs? Like what happened? Yay, we died. <laughs> we Were you going to say what didn't that happen in? Huh. <laughs> we woke up on, on the dance the stage. floor. <laughs> I wonder what happened. I'm sure that's fine. Can I go tell us? Nope. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, you're a drop and smoke. Uh, talk to Liam, see if he has anything er. here. Because sometimes location changes, and he's the only one whose opinion we cares about. So... New begin. I feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Yeah. Yep. yep. Show me you got it. Have it sorted. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? Hey. There you are. Looking for the meaning of life. At the bottom of a bottle. It's a popular spot to It look. is a popular spot to look. You wouldn't be the first to try. Alcohol rarely provides answers. Then why are you here? What? I can't kick back? Have fun? I don't know why the crew is worried about her, apparently. So you guys answer it. Uh, they don't really explain that either. Okay, <laughs> seven? Meant no offense. It's just... Just what? You don't seem like you're having fun. I grew up on Omega. You'd think I'd know how to drink. What's this really about? PB thinks I don't care about the crew. That you're all just experiments to me. Yeah, to you, they did kind of explain that a little is bit. Is that how you think I see you? That's a weird question. I don't think we need to ask that. Okay. Like, well, I think it's why do you care what PB thinks? Uh, oh. So I'll ask that. That might or? be worth asking. Okay. Nope. This is when do you care what PB thinks? Okay. Yep. It's not the first time someone told me that. In fact, every one of my exes said something similar. Hence why I'm taking a break from relationships. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's the real reason you said no to dinner. It wasn't because I'm not your type. Yes. I mean, no. Don't change the subject. Is that how you think I see you? Obviously, you care. You wouldn't be moping in this bar if you only saw me as an experiment. I don't mope, but you're right. <sighs> Thank you, Ryder. I should get back. What about your wine? I'll save it for another day. That's a really deep conversation there. It wasn't. It could be worse. Yeah, I think there could have been a little bit more soul exploring there. Yeah, a little, but...
Hey, Lexi is a love interest the way uh, Kelly from Two was a love interest. <laughs> Does Lexi feed our fish? <laughs> we don't have, have any fish. We should get fish. We don't have a tank. Oh, okay, never mind then. I mean, one problem at a time. I'm not saying no. You're going to want to take before you get the fish. Okay, all the visions. Let's see it. This memory is something family gathering on Earth. Why does my eye twitch a little every time I talk about my father? Feels like it's been years since we were It's the memory twitch thing? Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you too. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Uh. Really? Well, uh, you're both looking taller. Yikes. Yeah, that, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. So, um, I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. No, they're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. I think we might have found a Prothean site. <laughs> no artifacts yet, but we're still digging. What are you looking at, Ryder? Uh, I remember the oh, day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. See, that's actually really short. He just has a camera on top of his head. <laughs> yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die on the woods. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad, when you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. Garon really scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Nothing Why scared Admiral Grissom. Why don't we have been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I don't know why we're having this conversation in like the garage or something, but I'm guessing it's his workshop or I something. I remember like that. that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. All right, considering you were found Hmm. There's your answer. I don't know what that means, but go for it. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shouted for an interest. Yeah, good or bad, parents were both on you. In form of symbiosis. Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. We have a lens flare stuck in our hair. Mm -hmm. Let's see it. This memory is when Alec first learned the initiative. Miss Alec. We're dead. Okay. It will be just a moment. Hello, Alec. I'm too old for Cloak and Dagger. I got your message from here. Who are you? A benefactor, if you like. You have something to offer me? A future. Interesting. That's vague. A future. Your wife. You're out of money. Your contacts have dried up. You can't finish that. Who do you know about? I can help you. Whatever you need. Start by telling me what you need. Your AR is more than a cure for your wife. It could also be the salvation for many others. I don't follow. Where we're going, we'll need a different perspective to understand things. Where's that? The Andromeda Galaxy? I have a proposal for you. And Ellen doesn't have much time. Are you interested? Interesting. Who's that? The benefactor. I believe there was more to the Andromeda Initiative than was publicly understood. Oh, well, money had to come from somewhere. Uh, exposition, exposition. Shall we go oh, play yes. all the exposition? So many memories. Oh. I just feel like we're supposed to go listen to those audio logs first. We'll get to that. That's no. more about the people who funded all this thing. 
the personal memories about what happened to his mom. It was a good fight, soldier. It's not over yet. Alec. No. Alec, we have a few hours. Let's enjoy them. And after that. You'll still have each other. But we want you. I love you, Mom. I love you. Both of you. Live your lives. Do great things. I see so much potential in you. I'm so stoned right now. Even on our deathbed, we wear full-body covering suits. Say it. No room for comfort here. Then I will. Goodbye. Watch out for the kids. Be there for them. I will. Mourn me, Annie, but don't let this destroy you. What did you used to say when you were in Annie 7? When you back against the wall. Can't run from it. Use it. Remember that. Be strong. Never as strong as you. I love you, Ellen. Sir, I. I didn't expect that. Death remains an elusive concept for me. A finite end in a cosmos otherwise filled with infinite possibilities. Death isn't the end. I don't think it's the end. Mom didn't just disappear forever. Where did she go? I don't know. I like to think existence somehow continues. In which case, my failure to save her may not be total. Your father hoped I would cure her. No, uh, what happened? I never understood. With all your capabilities, Sam, why did she die? My ability to enhance organic physiology has limitations. Your mother's disease was systemic. It also seems that life is more than just biology. It is the will to continue living. I believe your mother accepted her fate, and likewise, her body surrendered. I detect additional memories, but they are currently not. They may get more answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Finally! We're released! To the audio logs! I'm gonna go drink myself into a stupor. Yay, yeah, stupor! Sadness. Your father's personal loss. So, development and benefactor. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No, maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway. The right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and sound are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the guests? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was digging a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first guest who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Guess had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse. The guests saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. Ryder, are the bonds that you're looking for me? It's not every day an X-87 looks for the shadow broker. Anything you may have, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial 
that Liara? Not no, at that at point. At this time, it would have been the old shadow broker. Mm -hmm. I had a strange meeting yesterday. I thought it would be with Spoiler. <laughs> Never worth talking to Director Tom. I accepted the initiative's offer. They're calling me a Pathfinder. <laughs> There's no other option left. The same will never happen without their help. Our savings are gone, and no one will return my calls. I am a pariah. There's something strange going on with this benefactor. But no one's getting worse. And that's encrypted. Yep. Okay. Let's go talk to Tan. Uh. Actually, while we're here. Sounds a little bit deal with the devil -y, this benefactor thing, but. That's certainly what they're building for. Sorry to call you in, but this is best handled discreetly. Talk to me. Short version one of Harry's med techs snuck a relative on board, woke them up, cut them loose. Turns out this relative has a rare illness. Not contagious yet, but in the later stages. Whoa, oh, that was stupid. That was dumb. They exposed the whole station to a potentially contagious illness? Yes. We need to keep this quiet and handle it fast. This gets out, we'll have a station-wide panic. Besides, this is a Hyperion matter. My responsibility. Um, feels like this is a station issue to me. This concerns everyone. We're part of the Nexus now. Contagion rumors on stations never end well. Never. I've been through this before. The only way this ends without major losses is if we handle things before the rumors get out. Right. I'll look into it. Good. Talk to Harry. He can brief you on the details. Let's bring this under control before it's too late. My yeah. question is... Does that was really dumb. Yeah. Does he have a med tech we can punch? <laughs> My question is, how did they get past, like, medical screening? Uh, hopefully they'll tell us. Wait, uh, nope, it's in the next station. Okay. Well, let's see here. Cryo Bay. Oop. I think you'd keep them in cryo until you could cure it. Did they not know? You'd think you wouldn't have brought him in the first place. Well, I mean, yeah. if you love the person, you don't care if they're sick. Again, uh, let's see what Harry's got for us. Good you're here. Done with review. Uh, just the short version. I live alone. Said to speak with you for the full brief. Great. Well then, here we go. Before we left, my med tech Charlie helped his aunt sign on to the initiative program. He cheated the screening process. Yeah. She has TH ah. three one four, deadly, highly contagious in the latter stages, and jumps across species. <laughs> it was dormant, but flared up when Charlie woke her. He just assumed it was stasis sickness. There's no cure, no vaccine. It's deadly in its final stage, and she's off grid. She's a problem. Yeah. What should I know about this TH three fourteen? Stage 1 symptoms are similar to stasis sickness, which is what fooled Charlie. Stage 2 is marked by extreme bouts of paranoia. It becomes virulently contagious in stage 3. Airborne, it works. Is anyone else infected? No one so far. According to the test results I received after Charlie left, she's still in stage 1. Something like she's in stage 2. Stage 3, Ryder, it'll be bad. It's a rare disease, but the kind that starts pandemics. Any idea where he's gone? Not long ago, he was assigned to an Apex unit for a mission. Incommunicado at the moment. Charlie had no idea the virus would flare up after stasis. Virology isn't his specialty. Maybe he's just only about a head. Some guy's specialty in this case. Ugh. 
So he knew that she was sick, but he didn't know that it would get bad when she woke up. Yeah. That, but he knew she had it. Yeah. That This was seriously dumb. Yep. Uh, I mean, she is sick and she needs help, but there's no cure, right? That's what he said, yeah. Yeah. Although, they, if they catch her, they can put her back in stasis. Maybe we should do that. I mean, like, I would like to say she's sick and needs help, but she's completely a serious problem. What do you guys think? We need to make yeah. sure she's brought in and no one else is infected. That's fair. I want to put her well-being above all else, but we have to consider the implications. Making sure TH314 doesn't spread is the top priority, no matter what. This one isn't going to be easy. Anything else I need to know? Be quick, but discreet. We can't panic the entire station over this. I only have a whole space station to search. Discreetly. Check. Could be worse. She could be off station and potentially infecting... God, that would be a nightmare. Try customs first. Even with fake medical clearance, she had to go through there like anyone else. description. That'll be useful. Thanks, Sam. Who are you? What do you want? Today has not been a good day. Where's that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for the outposts you started. Okay, this is a side quest. Alright, camera. You want to go there? <laughs> go ahead. I'll deal with it. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That will be great. <laughs> Sassy camera gave that kind of a sarcastic to us. <laughs> See, this feels like the kind of side quest, the the infectious disease one. Uh, this feels like the kind of thing a Pathfinder should deal with. Or like some kind of special forces. Yeah, no, it makes more sense. It's like, okay, you're high ranking, you have clearance to go everywhere. This is a problem. We really got to make sure nobody knows what's and going on. And it's a about big it. problem. Yeah, and it's a big problem. Like, this is a Pathfinder quest. Also, do we have a stun setting on our phasers? Because no. I imagine that's going to be an issue soon. Can I talk to you, Ryder? Good that you're here, Ryder. I found something while monitoring comms for the Nexus. More? Multiple attacks by people called the Three Sabers. They're hitting outposts and supply vessels. The really weird part is they seem aware of our operations, like they're getting intel. No. What are you saying? Someone's feeding them info? Maybe. It would be really bad if that were true, right? I've reported Dirt. it, and they say they'll investigate, but then forget. But you're the Pathfinder. If someone's betraying the Nexus, you have to do something about it. So it is worth investigating. If they seem to know our operations, I could spell trouble. Best to get to the bottom Twi of this. Twitchy legs. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Best Pathfinder ever. I don't know where they hide. But I got the nav points for the most recent raids. Maybe the Tempest scanners can figure out where they went. No so I figure Sid is like the equivalent of 17 or 18. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The way she talks, that makes sense. Yeah. Who else did we have to talk to? Uh, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tan, right. Whoop. Hi, <laughs> what up? Who are you? What do you want? What's going on? Probably hear you. We do know Krogan have super hearing, right? We have what? someone lurking. Shit. What? We have a lurking. Oh. Hi, Silver. Silver's lurking. <laughs> what are you doing lurking? I thought she went to bed. Well, she said she'd check back in a little oh, okay. while. You did not mention that. First contact, huh? Last one of any note was when your people stumbled over that relay. If they can trade us materials that'll help fix the Nexus, I'm good with it. Nah, that's, really, that's all I care about. Nothing more for now. Good luck. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to Tam, and then I wanna... the spender thing. Definitely wanna deal Ugh, with that. Tan. I know. No good it's... ever came from talking to Tan. Oh, hello, sellers. What up, dude? Uh, another side quest. Tell me. 
He was involved with a woman who was exiled. She obsessed over him, and I'm sure she kidnapped him. The powers of me don't buy it and don't care. They say most likely he went willing. Did he, Did he love her? her? Love can make us do strange things. He didn't love her. She was just a flip. Are you sure? Oh, didn't Wait, we already did this. I guess we never talked to the Huh, that's funny. Those names match a lot we found. Clement tried to escape, and Bruce killed him. Ah, hey. You've already heard tell of him. I'm sorry your friend didn't make it. I knew it. Or Sanji. It's a small <laughs> consolation, but I relayed the record to Director Tan. Sanjeev's name will be cleared. That's funny because we already got the email from him saying thanks. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, You're welcome. Uh, no, talk, how did talking with Liam go? Nothing happened, Silver. Yeah, nothing new. No more weird bed scenes. Right. Now we have to talk to Tan, everybody's Pat favorite. Hey. You guys handle this one. Man, I wish there was a neutral option. <laughs> you know what? Screw this guy. Two sides. <laughs> I don't think anyone came all the way to Andromeda to live like that. The Nexus was that sounds fair. It's about the future, Ryder. What sort of civilization will we form in Helios? Not one what to a German. Anarchy? Or one dedicated to order and justice? You are not dedicated I to order and justice. Sloan Kelly and her mutineers chose otherwise. Did you have some other business? I'm curious. What do you know about the people who backed the initiative? What everyone knows. Gian Carson was the founder and visionary. Unfortunately, she died on the Nexus during the Scourge disaster. Is there anyone else? I would almost welcome them. A voice to silence the rabble. Then cash Ugh. Ugh. See, but this no, is why no one not. likes you, Tan. Why do you ask? Wishful thinking. I'm not telling you shit. No reason. Guess I was hoping the cavalry was on the way. Yes. If only she'd left. No, Gian Garson was the beacon. A sad end to someone of such stature. Dying alone. Oh? It was chaos. By the time they found her, she was already dead. Succumbed to her injuries. Was that investigated? Was there a follow-up investigation? I wasn't even out of stasis. But knowing the violence of the Scourge disaster, Oh, this is sounding it sketchy. Something else happened, Ryder? I'd rather you didn't. Let's not add to the confusion. Thank you for your time. Ryder, if you wish to pursue this further, accessing Nexus security records may reveal more information. Heck yeah, I do. Tan just told us to not do something. We're doing it. <laughs> Pretty much. What's that? Tan said no. Well, that's clearly the way to go. Wee! Oh, I'll go look at records! We're surprisingly far away from the security desk. Whoa. Update uh, to the missing persons report filed in Gian Garson. Maintenance crew found her body in a Nexus apartment. Severe burns were apparent, similar to the others we saw who were killed during the Scourge disaster. It's unclear how she got there, but confusion and disorientation during the Scourge event are likely. Events align with the timeline. Cause of death? Casualty of the Scourge disaster. Status closed. We're going to reactivate it. Then connecting her death to the scourge disaster was mere speculation. So it seems. Yeah, they just wanted this to go away. I think we need to check out that apartment. Environmental data will enough. Oops. I agree. So let's the crap. Okay. Yeah. Da damage control. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Click and a click and a click. Okay. Get that out of my thing. Get that out of my thing. Get that. Give it. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Episode break? Uh, yes. So, those of you on Twitch, just hang on for a moment. Those of you on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you guys next episode. Bye!